Check it out, folks. As I promised, listen, I haven't forgotten all of y'all, especially my ro over the road truckers, right? Listen, today I'm gonna show you guys just how easy and simple it is to make a crock pot, you know, pot roast. Okay, so look, just for the record, I've already cleaned, washed, you know, my potatoes and my carrots, right? I got myself a peeler right here. I'm gonna go ahead and peel these carrots, then I'm gonna show you how to cut them. But I think first thing we finna do is we finna start with the star, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my pot roast. Now, I don't know if I said earlier, but this is a four pound, you know, pot roast. Anywhere between three to four pounds would be great. All right, so look, get yourself a bowl, you know, big enough. I can actually do it all in that size bowl right there, which I think I am. Cause listen, like I say, I'm the one to do the dishes. So I'm gonna set this off to the side, get yourself a whisk. We're gonna put a couple of teaspoons of this brown sugar in there, right? It's okay. Number one question you guys gonna ask is like, man, is that gonna be sweet? Trust me, folks, it's not. And then if it's a little bit over, it's okay. You just want a little bit of balance with this, All right? Get your whisk. All right, real simple, right? All we are gonna do is, you got it. There's no need for me to, you know, use some kind of word like, all we gonna do, this stuff right here be self-explanatory. Right? I just like to get this on here, let it sit on here, get it all in all of the crevices, right? Okay, so now would be a great time. Before we put the flour on, we're gonna use, like obviously I'm using my cast iron, I'm putting it on medium heat, right? I'm finna add a little bit of this uh, infused olive oil. Now we're getting ready to come with that flour, right? I just put a little bit on here and I just give it a little pat. This is gonna help with the browning too. All right, so I'm looking over here. Let me get you guys over here to this cast iron. If you look at the cast iron, I don't know if you can see them little ripples in there, but now I'm getting ready to drop this down on the bottom. Now don't forget, we just want to brown and put some flavor on there, right? And seal it up. We don't want to go ahead and cook it. Okay, folks, so just after about three or four minutes, you know what I mean? You want to look at the bottom? Look at that right there. That's it. Now don't forget, I got a fire underneath the bottom of this, so it's going to be a little bit on the, how could I say it? You know what I mean? This is where the heat is concentrated. You know what I mean? So you just want to make sure that it doesn't, you know, it'll burn. Okay, so after you brown on all your sides, you don't have to like brown it completely, you know, on the sides, right? Because just trust me, the browning you put on these two flat sides, that's going to bring a lot of flavor to it. So listen, I just cut everything off. We just go ahead and let this sit here and let it rest just a little bit. No worries, folks. There's so much inside of that. When we put it in that crock pot, it's gonna render out something really, really nice. All right, folks, so look, any of the fine that's left over or anything like that, I take out the bigger chunks, you know what I mean? Uh, that's up to you guys, but for the video purposes, I did. But as you can see, look, I still left it in like this, right? So I got a medium flame underneath the bottom. I'm getting ready to just start adding this in here. Now, when I say gravy, you guys will start thinking like, where's the roux? You know, how come he not putting no flour in there? We getting our taste together first, right? Then you see a little bit of the fat that came off of the roast. You see it on top? You see the bits? Uh-huh. It looked like this is the start to a great gravy, right? But after about five or six hours, and then we thicken it up a little bit, you guys know the rest. Now we're getting ready to add just a little bit of this soy, soy sauce. Now look at that right there. That's that 33% less soy, I mean salt, right? Just wanna put about a teaspoon in here. That's all we want. We just want a little bit of that flavor. You know what I mean? Now, when you see the soy, you're probably thinking like, what's happening? This is when I tell you guys, trust the process. You know why? Because it's the combination of all of the flavors together that makes something amazing. Now, while this right here is, you know, mixing together, look, we're gonna add some extreme flavor, right? So this is that better than bouillon. Look, this is that beef version, right? So just go ahead and get yourself about, about a teaspoon. That might be a little bit more, but who gonna say, you know, that's too much, especially when it comes to flavor. We don't need to do nothing with it. We don't need to taste it or nothing like that. Just trust this combination of flavors right here is it, right? So now I'm gonna turn this off. This is my crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and just pour this inside of there right now, right? It's a reason why I didn't put that, you know, I didn't put my pot roast in because I don't want it to get over the top, wash nothing off, right? So we just start like this. Now we bring our roast, right? And we just go ahead and set this in there. Right, and if you guys pay attention, look at that. See how it comes around? This is what helps with it to start, you know, cooking it, right? Now we are gonna work on the veggies. Now those are real cool and real simple, right? Don't forget, I've already washed, cleaned, and did all of that, right? So now it's just a matter of me taking this 
and just, you know, skinning these down, cut them up. Then I'm gonna show you the size that I cut them in. Then how we gonna arrange them. Then we just set the timer. Super simple. All right, so look, I just pulled out a couple of sprigs of rosemary and thyme. Because when you say pot roast, I love to have these flavors in here too, right? So I'm just gonna put this like this. I'm gonna let the crock pot do the work. And I'm gonna let that, you know, like just push this down. You'll see, you know, it'll melt, release its juices on top, and then it gets down into the flavor. But that's how I do it. Now we're gonna put our top on, right? Now they got a saying, right? I always tell everybody, especially when you're cooking with a crock pot or you outside on like a, a charcoal grill. If you looking, you ain't cooking. This whole design for a crock pot is for this top to be on, and that's part of how the process works, right? So every time you take this off and you look down there, add 30 minutes onto it for it to build back to, you know, the heat that it needs. Now, with that being said, or should I say, now that we all educated, let me go ahead and set it. All right, folks, so look, now we just hit power, right? I'm gonna go ahead and hit high because I want to do it in six hours, right? Now, a four pound go, I like to do six, right? I could have went five, but I know just from experience that this is going to be what I need, right? So we'll just put this on six hours like that. We hit start, and I'm not going to take that lid off no more. I'm going to let it cook. I'll see y'all in six. Okay, folks, after six hours, look, I already started, like, taking out some of my, you know, my veggies, right? So I just want to show you guys these are soft. That's why I'm using a set of tongs. You know what I mean? I'm picking them up, you know, lightly, right? You don't want to, like, turn them into mush, but you see they hold the integrity. Just put them in a bowl or wherever you like to put them on. If you got a serving platter, you can put them in there also. So let me get these out and I'll show you what we do next. Here's my roast. Remember we put that color on there. This is nice. It's nice and tender. Don't forget, we got to like cook. You know, when you do chuck or anything like that, you got to like put some time under it. You got to get that heat in there to get it, you know, give it some time so it'll like loosen up their muscles so it'll be chewable. You know what I mean? And then right here, you can see these potatoes and these carrots. Ooh, I could have put celery in there. You guys can just level up however you would like to level up, right? So now, I don't have anything left but a great, I'm going to just call that the Aju that we're getting ready to turn that into a major, major, you know, gravy, right? So I'll just take it. I'm just going to add it to it right now. Now, don't forget, this is equal parts, you know, of cornstarch and, you know, with cold water, right? So that's three and three. Now I'll just go ahead and add it, and I'm going to start whisking. I want to continue with my heat, because this is what's going to thicken it up, right? Take this, put that in there like that. Just open him up a little bit. Might go ahead and get myself one more piece. But when you do it right, it's been in that crock pot the, the right amount of time, right? Check it out. Let me just go ahead and get this out also. We don't want to eat it. All right, now check this out. Look, come in here and get in here close. Look at the way that, that gravy just worked. Oh my goodness. Hey, when your veggies is nice and soft, and because I cut mine big, you know what I mean? I did it like that because we was going a long time, right? So when they big like that, I can't just get potato in that without cutting that potato. But I feel like I'm over talking, folks. Check this out. Cheers, y'all. What you want me to do, ball this up and drop this napkin? This right here is fire. You can even see it on the top. When you get your gravy consistency like that, mm, that's all I can say. Now don't forget, you want to taste it after that. You want to add any salt, pepper to it. I got mine just the way I like it. It's really, really good this way. And then for those of you guys, you can, I want you to let me know down in the comment section below, what else would you add to it? Sometimes I like to add, when I'm doing the crock pot version, I like to go ahead and add them frozen peas to it like the last 30 minutes. Outside of that, you guys let me know. Don't forget, this full printable recipe is on my website, smokinganddrillingwithab.com. Now with that being said, listen, I'm bringing back that crock pot series. It's that time of the year. So guess what, folks? If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there, I'm your guy. And with that being said, I'm out. Peace.